So, except for the room that I'm staying in, there are two other rooms. The mysterious and locked room number five, and another room that I know nothing about. Where should I go? To the locked room number five, or to the other room? Room number five. The cursed room, full of ghosts and boogeymen, in desperate need of an exorcism. <laughs> I guess there is something intriguing about it. Maybe a curious little boy would want to see a ghost and go inside. Or was he afraid of the room and wanted to get as far away from it as possible? <laughs> okay, ghost room. Bring it on. Locked. What a surprise. And I can't just pry it open. The lock looks sturdy and I look too suspicious already. I don't think Hugo is here. Unless he's managed to get inside another way. But how? The child's gone missing. I don't have time to tiptoe around and waste my time with ghost stories. I need the keys, but the Reverend has them. And he's God knows where. Maybe if Chris I try Wells, to... <laughs> what are you still doing here? I'm looking for Mr. McCarthy. What? He's got the keys to this room. I see. <laughs> are you really drinking now? And why not? Don't think about the Reverend. After all, he's a man of faith and a drunk. He wouldn't kidnap a child. Trust me, we should speak to the chef. But I need to get into the locked room. But why? You've said it yourself that it's locked. Actually, you're right. See? So calm down and come to the kitchen with me. Look, that theory of yours is fascinating for sure, but... No but. Let's go. Could I at least stop by my room? To the kitchen! Broderick! Broderick! <laughs> I've got more important things to do than look after him. But what if he does something stupid? And what if that chef really knows something about the boy? Should I follow him to the kitchen, or go to my room? I'd better go to the kitchen. Who knows what Broderick could do there? You'll see, Wells. The chef is our man. Oh, come on. We don't have any clues. No leads. Nothing. Exactly. Perfect cover-up. Why would anybody murder anyone? Or rape or rob? The criminal's mind is mysterious and full of dark corners. But that's complete what nonsense. What are you doing here? Well... Good evening, Mr. Rogers. Yeah, what, what do you want? I'm busy. <clears throat> I'm sorry for disturbing you, but... You want something to drink again, or what? No, no, not at all. You know, Mr. Broderick and I, we... Enough with this chit-chat. Let's go to the kitchen, shall we? What? Only speak when you're spoken to. <laughs> Mr. Big Detective, huh? Well, take your power trip back to wherever you got that bad attitude. Just calm down, Mr. Rogers. I can say what I want. When I want, in my kitchen. My rules, understand? For now. What were you doing today between 5 and 7 p.m.? What's it to you? Answer the questions. Mom, please, what's his point? Well, I... <laughs> you know... Come on, Wells. The clock is ticking. We can either just stand here and chit-chat or go to the kitchen and deal with this. Up and Adam. It's up to you. We could just stay here, but what if Broderick is right? Let's go, shall we? You're right, Broderick. Let's go. No, stay there! Uh, Lord, no, that's enough, damn it! And now, two freaks. What's going on? Let go of the door or... Wrong answer! What about you, lady? You look more sensible. What are you trying to do here? Mr. Rogers, I... I do apologize. See? We can talk like normal people. We're just searching for a missing child. Well, the Keswell's son has gone missing. Oh, God. When? You really don't know? No what? Don't lie. 
Look, I'm not lying. I've been here all day, slaving in this kitchen. Nobody told me nothing. Mum, please, seriously, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not lying. How come that you haven't heard anything? Poor Mrs. Caswell screamed all through this place. Look, I, I don't know anything about any of this. I'm in the kitchen all the time. It's so loud in there. And then there's that storm raging outside. I really haven't heard anything. Trust me. Mum, you believe me, don't you? Should I believe him or not? I'm not really convinced that you didn't hear those screams because of the storm. I could hear them all the way in my room. Look, I swear, I've no idea. The freezer in the kitchen's humming. It's raining outside, and I just don't listen to whatever's going on around here. And I've told the receptionist to inform all the staff. Yeah, well, she's probably forgotten. What a shame, huh? Such a shame. Mr. Rogers, we're searching the entire hotel room by room. We need to check the kitchen as well. All right. Come on in, then. Okay, thank you. Mum, mum, please. T tell me the boy's gonna be okay. Tell me he's gonna be fine. Should I comfort him? I really don't know. We don't have the time, Mr. Rogers, so we should carry on with our search. Y uh, okay, okay, then. Sorry. Come in. This is our kitchen. Nothing special. Three stoves, two ovens. I work here alone. You know, a lot of people used to visit this hotel. There used to be, well, three or four of us here. But now, especially in the off-season, I, I usually make, like, five or, or ten portions for each meal, depending on the day and reservations. Most of that's for the staff. Otherwise, it's to order. And what's that noise? Central ventilation. I've been telling them it needs fixed for a while now. Still nothing. Okay, now I understand why you couldn't hear Mrs. Keswell. I'm that you're grumpy all the time. What? Nothing. It doesn't seem like a child could hide here. I've told you so. It's pretty tight in here. I would have noticed it. Make no mistake, dear colleague. You have to search in places you wouldn't normally think of checking. What about the oven? Hmm? Oh, please, there's nothing in there. And what about the pot? You can't be serious. Roderick, what are you doing? It's better to check everything. Go ahead then, Sherlock. I'm making clam chowder in that for tomorrow. It's really hot. As it should be. Mr. Rogers, and what about these two doors? What? These two doors. Oh, one leads to the dry storage and the other one to the walk-in freezers. May I have a look inside, please? If you want to, but I'm telling you, nobody's there. Check the lobby, the rooms, the cellar, I don't know. Keep your advice to yourself and open the door. Fine. Where do you want to have a look? Should I check the storage room or the walk-in freezers? Open the freezer, please. You're all right. Hurry up! Why don't you try it yourself? It's stuck! That needs some serious muscles. <sighs> and that's certainly something a little boy doesn't have. Well, uh, that's true, but who knows? Maybe someone locked him in there. And who would that be? I never share sensitive information with suspects. Oi! Stop it and just open it, Mr. Rogers. All right, all right. Nothing. No, just, just frozen meat. It's so cold in here. Ten what? There's nothing in here. Roger. Turn the ventilator off. I can't hear a word. Have a few hairs. Turn it off. Oh, I sake. am, but I'm not going to do it. Please play with me. Oh, can you two stop it? The operating room clearly states that the ventilation must be on. Sure, the kitchen's operating now. I don't care about your rules. Just turn it off. I can't solve it like this. <sighs> As if you could solve anything. What did you say? You heard. For the last time, I'm ordering you to turn off the ventilation. And for the last time, I'm telling you, that's not gonna happen. Enough! 
We can't go on like this. You obviously won't stop arguing, so one of you needs to go. But it's my kitchen, my investigation. Stop it! Who should I send away? The chef or the detective? Mr. Rogers, please leave. But I'm responsible for all this. I can't just leave you here. Haven't you heard? Look, there are regulations against that, you know? It's about sanitation. Something happens Please and... leave. Fine. Whatever. If anyone has food poison in here, it will be on you. Roderick, find out how to turn the ventilation off. Yes. There's nothing in the freezer, so I'll have a look in the storage. Sure. So, is there anything out there? Nothing, no. Nothing. Just a couple of preserves. Potatoes. Damn it. But the chef has to know something. I can feel it. He has to know something. What was that all about? Maybe I was being a bit harsh, but you don't know the job as I do. He's got to be hiding something. You're drunk. I can smell it all the way over here. Oh, come on. What's one drink? I'm on vacation. Please just calm down a little. I'm okay. Go to your room and lie down for a few, Detective. No. Now, there's no way. Let's keep going. The cellar. We haven't checked the cellar yet. We need to have a look down there. I can do that myself. No, I'll go with you. The only place you'll go is to bed. You'll feel better in the morning. You can't do this to me. This is my investigation, my big chance. Don't make it worse than it already is. I need to find that freaking child. Do you understand me? I have to find him. I'll find him, don't worry. That won't help me. It has to be me. I finally have to prove that I can handle it, that I can do it. What are you talking about? What's going on? Nobody's ever given me a chance. Every time I found a lead, they took me off a case. Everyone has always stolen my shine, but not anymore. Not today. I don't follow. Do you have any idea what it feels like when everyone at the station is pointing fingers at you? When they're laughing at you and won't let you do anything. But I haven't done anything wrong. Broderick. Huh? They're sending me off on vacation, but I know what it is. I've got intuition. They're firing me. Once I come back to Glasgow, they'll tell me I'm fired. Do you have any idea how it feels I've made just one mistake, one stinking mistake. But that guy just looked so polite. So I let him go. Why should I spend my whole life suffering for that? Go to your room. Just lie down, get some rest. You're tired. You're just like the others. You think that you're better than me. But one day, you'll make a mistake too. You'll make a wrong decision, and it will be over. Broderick! Broderick! God. Great. That's exactly what I needed. All I wanted was to hand over the evidence and get out of here. I wish I could just go to my room, pack my bags, and get away from this place and all of these people. But that's not possible anymore. I can't leave until that little boy is found. Should I have another look around here? I'll have another look around here, just in case. Nothing. Broken tiles, dirty dishes, but no sign that Hugo has been here. What's this? It's a photo. A pregnant woman standing in front of the hotel. Who could this be? There's Viola written on the back of the photo. Maybe a relative of Rogers? 
I shouldn't have let him leave like that. I should go to the reception and ask about the cellar. I don't want to spend another minute in this kitchen. Mrs. Keswell, please go back to your room. That's not happening. I'm not going to just sit here while Hugo is missing. I'm sure Miss Wells will find him soon. You just need to calm down. No, soon is not soon enough. <clears throat> Dear, you're finally here. Have you found Hugo? Have you got him? Where is he? No, not yet. Please. You have to find him. Well, I have been thinking. Yes, dear? Ethel, you're supposed to have keys to the cellar. Yes, sure, but what for? What? Cellar keys? Well, why would the boy go down to the cellar? <laughs> well, we need to search every room. What would he do there? Maybe he was curious. Yes, that's true. Well, we've all heard the terrible rumours. Those are no rumours. Viola... Viola? Our chef's wife. You know, she hanged herself. Poor Tom. But Hugo wouldn't... Just calm down, Mrs. Keswell. Everything's going to be okay. I just... I can't calm down. I understand. I can't just sit and... I can't. I... I... Ms. Washington, please give me the keys. But you can't go there. It, it, it's no, not... Please, this won't get us anywhere. All right, then, but don't come telling me I haven't warned you. This isn't about any regulation. Nobody should go down there. Just go down this hallway and turn right. Mm -hmm. There's a door at the end, and you'll need to use this key. Okay. Then down there, under the stairs, there is another door, and that's this key yeah. right here. Okay. But please, don't be down there for too long. All right, thank you. I'll go with you. What? Mrs. Keswell, please. No, no, I have to. That's, that's not really a good idea. I, I don't care. You can't, you can't stop me. Miss Wells, please take me with you. Should I take her with me? I suppose I can't convince you to stay in your room, can I? No. Okay, Mrs. Caswell, you can come with me. Oh, thank you. But you will stick with me, is that clear? You will do what I say when I say it. Of course. Thank you. Okay, let's go then. Cover your mouth and nose, Mrs. Keswell. It smells awful here. It's just mold. I'm sure they don't air it out much down here. Hugo would certainly never... The door downstairs. Is something wrong? Someone's already unlocked it. Stay with me, Mrs. Keswell. Hugo? Hugo, are you there? I can't see anything. There must be a switch here somewhere. But how are we supposed to find it in the dark? Did you hear something? Come on. I'll take you back upstairs. I'll come back here alone with a torch. No, that's okay. I just... What was that? That sound. I know, it. it's... Mrs. Keswell, stick with me. Are, are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. It's just that sound. We need to go back to get some light. Give me your hand. <gasps> what was that? <sighs> that was the door we came in through. What's happening? <clears throat> Mrs. Keswell, don't be scared. The, the wind must have closed the door. But that's... that's Hugo. Hugo? Hugo, are you there? Wait! Hugo! You don't know where you... Hugo! Mrs. Keswell! <sighs> now what? I can't do much in the dark, but what if something happens to her? Should I go back to get a torch, or look for Mrs. Keswell? Hugo? Mrs. Keswell! Hugo? Stay where you are! I'll come back and bring a torch! Oh, you crazy woman! Hugo? Wait till I come back! The door stuck. Now what? 
Mrs. Caswell! Are you okay? Should I go help her, or try open this door? Mrs. Caswell! I'm coming to you! Wait! Hello? Hello? What's going on here? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, God, this headache. I feel like my head is gonna explode. Mrs. Keswell, where are you? I'm here. There's another room at the back. I'm coming! Oh. Ah! Oh, Mrs. Keswell! I'm here! What's going on? Can you please try to open the door? I can't! Oh, damn it! Don't, just wait, I'll get someone. Don't go anywhere. Ah! What's going on? Mrs. Keswell, what's in there? <laughs> Mrs. Keswell! Open the door! Hold on! Damn it! I have to open this door somehow. Just some things you can't control. Are you okay? What happened? Somebody was. Somebody. What, what's that in your hand? It was. It was hanging from the rope here. Was that Hugo's? It's his favorite toy. He's always running around the house with it and. Mrs. Caswell, we should go. I guess I should try to comfort her, but do I have the time for that? Don't worry. <laughs> it's going to be okay. We'll find him. We'll find him, but now we have to move on. Where? Where to? There's only one place I haven't been yet. That room upstairs that's locked. I see. Let's go. I need to get into that locked room upstairs. The Reverend has the keys. What else can I do? It's raining cats and dogs outside. It won't do any good going out there now, Miss Wells. Were you trying to stop Mr. McCarthy from leaving as well? Of course I was. But he didn't let me talk him out of it. He said he had to go and did not wish to be disturbed in the hotel's interest. This is in the Keswell's interest. That's nonsense. Hugo is just hiding somewhere. Mrs. Keswell, say something. Be careful out there. Oh, come on. You won't find the Reverend anyway. He's been gone for God knows how long. <sighs> this island's not that big. Stop! Please don't go out there. The Reverend will certainly be back soon. Why do you care about him so much? I care about this hotel, dear. I want all of us to be happy and safe. Then let me go out. You'll either let me go get the keys, or I'm shooting the lock. But the, the storm... Uh... Ethel, please. <sighs> Take Mrs. Keswell to her room and look after her. As you wish, darling. Let's go, Mrs. Keswell. Yes. Thank you. <sighs> okay. I'm outside. Where could Mr. McCarthy possibly go? Am I supposed to search this whole island? Oh, 
I should hurry up. God, I can't see a thing. This rain is crazy. The road splits here. If I go to the left, I'll get further in the middle of the island. If I go right and down the hill, it leads to the pier where the ferry to the mainland leaves from. Should I go to the pier or further inland? I'm sure the Reverend wanted to escape. Where else would he go other than the pier? Oh my god! Will this storm ever end? I need to be careful. These rocks are slippery. And the pier doesn't look that stable either. One wrong step and... Mr. McCarthy! I can't see him anywhere. Not even a place where he could hide. Just a wooden pier. No shelter, no bench, nothing. He's definitely not here. Unless he's fallen off. Should I go closer to the water, even if it's dangerous? No, he couldn't have. He's not crazy. I'm not going to risk drowning here. I should search somewhere else. a church. Well, at least it used to be. It looks a little run down. That voice. It's the Reverend. So that's where he's been. But what is he doing here? And what's he saying? Should I go inside or wait to see what happens? Mr. McCarthy! Oh, it's... Uh, uh, hey, uh, what are you doing here? I'm wondering that myself. It's the middle of the night. Awful weather. What kind of man-man would leave the hotel right now? Uh, no, mad. Maybe just a fool. You may laugh at me, but I always walk around in a storm. It brings me peace in a strange kind of way. That's quite strange. It's almost hard to believe. Uh, one can sometimes believe as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Am I right, Alice? If you think so. Uh, anyway, tell me, what are you doing in here in such bad weather? <laughs> Were you uh, looking for me? Truthfully, yes, I was. Is that so? But, uh, well, you did not have to do that. I was going to head back soon. Were you? What are you sitting on, then? Sitting? I'm neither blind nor stupid, Mr. McCarthy. Why have you taken a suitcase for your nighttime stroll? Uh, Why did you want to leave? I... Uh, I am scared. Of what? Is there something you haven't told me? I... Uh, uh, what on earth? Where's my son? Mr. Keswell! What are you doing here? You stay out of this. It seems like we all needed a little air tonight, uh, didn't we? <laughs> You'll be laughing on the other side of your face. Mr. Keswell! What are you Where's doing? Where's my son, you bastard? What? I, I, I do not know. Don't lie. Mr. Keswell, calm down. Hugo disappears, and the weirdest guy in the hotel just happens to sneak away. Where's my son? That's enough. You have no right to boss me around. You've promised to find Hugo, and nothing's happened. So you'll either help me no. get him to uh, talk, Alice, please. or get out Stop of my him. way. Uh, arrest him! You cannot just let him Shut do this! Shut up! Uh. Now what? Should I stand up for Mr. Keswell, or the Reverend? 
Stop it! Get out of my way! No, only if you calm down. This is about my son! That doesn't give you any right to hit him! What can you know? No. Stop it! Stop it now! What are you doing? Give me the gun! No, don't touch it! Give me my gun back. Move. You're not a murderer, Mr. Keswell. You're a writer. What was that book of yours called? Get out of my way! High Above the Sky, that's right. It was called High Above the Sky. Move, or I'll shoot you both! I don't care! Should I step aside, stand my ground, or fight? No. What? I won't move. I've told you to get out of my way. I'll shoot you! Give it to me! What? Oh my god! Mr. McCarthy! Mr. McCarthy! I... What did you do? I... I didn't want to. Really. Don't worry, Reverend. You're going to be okay. What? It just grazed you. Can you hear me? It's just a scratch. But, but he's bleeding. Of course he's bleeding. You shot him. Take your shirt off. What? Quickly, we have to wrap it round his leg. What? Relax, Reverend. Just relax. I... I didn't want to. Really. You need to calm down, too. It's going to be all right. See? Thank you. Thank you, Alice. I... What is it? I will... I will tell you everything. Quiet now. Just take it easy. Uh, no. No, I need to... Ah! Uh, I need to tell you. I... Oh. I am not Reverend Timothy McCarthy. What are you saying? Reverend McCarthy doesn't exist. My real name is Patrick Graham. I am an actor. Well, I... I don't even know if I'm an actor anymore. I was pretty successful at the local theatre, but... When I tried doing movies... My greatest achievement was doing a movie as an extra this one time. Ah, a reverend hanging around in a park. Oh, I didn't have a single line. The movie was awful. But when I was walking down the street in that robe, people... people treated me differently. Hmm. They were smiling at me, letting me go first in line. It was amazing. As if I were someone else. I, I started wearing the clothes more often. I was getting used to it. Suddenly, I didn't care people didn't want to see me in their movies. I created my own character. Rev... Reverend Timothy McCarthy. From America. After some time, I thought I could make some money out of it. So I started going around haunted houses and hotels, where I was... Uh, pretending to perform various rituals to cleanse those places. And that's how I got here. And where's my son? I don't know. I swear. Don't lie. It's true. Rev... Patrick, was it? Yes. Tell us the whole truth. Oh, this is the whole truth. Why would I do anything to a child? I... I'd only draw attention to myself. I... I believe you. Do you? Uh, I do. What would he gain from kidnapping your son? I don't know. Mr. Graham, I need you to give me the key for the locked room. What? What bloody key? I need to get into the room, it's important. But I've been shot, if you haven't noticed. Calm down, please. To hell with that room. All I care about is Hugo. 
And I'm trying to find him. Are you? I feel like all you're trying to do is look for some keys. Because it's all connected. How? It's all connected. How would Hugo get inside? I... I don't know. But there's nowhere else he could be. There's something wrong with that room, I just know it. I can feel it. If you think it's ghosts... Uh, trust me, I've never seen any. Not even now that I've had such a close call. Oh. In that room. Room number five. I was supposed to stay in there. Someone brought me here and told me to stay there. Then your son goes missing and so many other things happen. All of this just can't be a coincidence. What's going to happen now? We need to get the Reverend back to the hotel and treat his wound. What about me? I'll deal with you once I find Hugo. Come on, help me with him. Okay, I'm coming. It's us, don't worry. There's three Somebody of us. Somebody do something! Why is it so dark in here? It's because of the storm. The lightning must have struck the power line. I was just about to go and get some candles. And... You can tell us about it later. Now please come here. The Reverend needs help. What? I'm coming, love. Reverend! What happened to you? He's been shot. Oh my goodness, how? Well... What's wrong? Where does it hurt? So what happened? It's... It is all my fault. What? what? I wanted to see a gun, and Miss Wells has... Oh, oh, I was not careful enough and accidentally fired. Reverend, what were you thinking? Uh, Come to the lounge with me. I'll find uh, a torch, and we can take care of you there. But... I... Mr. Keswell... Would you help me? Well, I... Uh, I know you're a guest, but the Reverend is wounded. Oh, please, could we go already? But, yeah. All right, then. Let's go, then. But careful. Oh. Uh, but the key! Oh. 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 Hey, hey, where are you going? I need the key. I... To the room. What was that? Just find us. Mrs. Keswell? We'll find her, right? It is the last time. Ethel! Trust me. We should speak. Who's there? What are you doing here? Oh, it is a terrible suffering in the Who is it? It was hanging from the roof. Yeah. Where's my son? Judy? Judy, hello! Judy! Hello? I think I've seen the car that Damn it! Judy, are you there? To all patrols, this is Constable Wells. I'm chasing a suspect driving on A31 towards town. The suspect is driving what appears to be a Green Lotus Elite. Oh, damn it! Oh! What was that? Oh my god, someone's lying there. He, he's hit someone. God, he's hit someone. Oh, that's a child. That's a child. It's... Oh, oh God. What was that? Out there. It's a shadow. Or an animal. Alice, pull yourself together. You can't let that guy get away. You have to catch him. He can't get away with this. How could I have let that happen? Alice, calm down. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. The locked room number five. What was that? It's coming from inside. Should I enter or listen behind the door for a while? Miss Wells, you're finally here. We've been waiting for you, haven't we, Hugo? Mm-hmm. Please sit down. Mrs. Caswell. Please, I... after everything we've been through today, call me Adele. Okay. What's going on here? You still don't know. Well, I'm not really surprised after everything we've... How did you get in here? How did you find Hugo? Oh, quite easily. I was the one who put him in here. Right, Hugo? And why? I wanted to see how you would act. What you would do. If you would help me find him. Who are you, really? Oh, you don't remember me. Oh, I'm... Well, it's true, I was much younger back then. And I had a different surname. I am Adele Garland. Garland. That accident. September 13th, 1975. The night of September 13th, 1975. The night when police officer Alice Wells fled the scene of an accident and did not help a young, dying boy. Hugo Garland. But I didn't do anything. My brother. So you're the one who's brought me here? Yes. Why? Why now? I, I haven't done anything to you. That child, I, I didn't... My I, brother. I didn't hit him. I did what I had to do. If I had tried to help him, the murderer would have got away. Do you have the envelope I wanted from you? What? The evidence file. 111. Do you have it? I don't know. I, I think... No, of course you don't. You've left it in your room. It's been there all evening. Such a small package. Hasn't it? Have you looked inside? No. Well, open it. Please. What's all this? Photographs. Photographs from that evening. Photographs of my brother. I was 21 back then. It had been my birthday a few weeks before. My parents weren't at home that evening, so I had a few friends over and we were celebrating. We were drinking and sometime during that evening I realised Hugo wasn't in the house. He was lost. I went to look for him. We used to live far away from the town, no other houses around. So I was walking along the road and suddenly this really fast car passed me by. It really scared me and then I heard the, the tyres screeching. And another car stopped quite close to me, a police car. I didn't really see who was driving it, I just saw that it was a woman. The car was just standing there for a moment and then it drove off. And I saw Hugo, lying in the road. So that was you. <laughs> Mrs. Keswell, you were the one I saw that night. Yes, and then when the police came to start asking questions, I remembered. I remembered the person that I'd seen sitting in that car. It was the police officer who was in the investigation team, Officer Alice Wells. And I understood. I understood that the investigation was useless. And then when I got married, and I had my Hugo, I was trying to find you, and I found out that you were Chief Inspector. <laughs> I'm in one of these photos, actually. How do I look? That wasn't my fault. I didn't hit him. I'm sorry for what happened to your brother. I am, but I wasn't able to help him. Oh, that doesn't matter now, does it? Everything's going to be okay now. I was hoping that if you came here and I was able to see you, I would understand who you were, cold, without emotion, or that I was wrong about you. One can change in ten years. But I've been watching you all night and I see that I wasn't wrong. 
When I begged you to find Hugo, you didn't want to do it. You were too busy with your own... Well, whatever you were busy with. Who knows what else you've done? Things I don't even know about. I've been trying to make sense of you. Maybe even understand you. But when I see how you behave, you don't care about others. You only act in your own best interest. Yesterday, I might have thought there was some good in you. But today... I hope that at least now, you'll do the right thing. I could silence her. I could do it. But should I? No, this can't be happening. I didn't kill him. Ms. Wells. I'm a good person. I am. What are you doing? Put the gun down. I'm not going to let you ruin my life. Put the, put the gun Mom, down. what's happening? Hugo, run. I'm not Go. Doing what? I'm Hugo, go. Hugo, go. Please don't do this. Think about it. I won't let you blackmail me. You won't ruin everything I've achieved. Think about it. What will actually happen if you shoot me? Should I pull the trigger? Please don't do this. Please don't do this. I'm not going to let you ruin my life. Please put the gun I'm a good person. I know I am. Evidence number 111. Starring. Zoe Robbins as Alice Wells. Rosamund Pike as Adele Keswell. Mike Bodie as Richard Keswell. Richard Reed as Reverend Timothy McCarthy. Kenny Blythe as Detective John Broderick. Abigail Rice as Receptionist Ethel Washington. Jamie Marshall as Chef Thomas Rogers. Atom Uniac as Hugo Keswell. Rebecca Reesness as Judy. Paul Coltofiano as Newscaster. Michael Pitton as Police Officer Bowers. And James Beaumont as The Guide. Story, Sylvia Divecki and Vladimir Marecek. Written by Vladimir Marecek. Lead programmer, Michal Zartopek. Directed by Tomáš Oramus. Music, Aleš Ramon. Dialogue recordist, David Kikera. Dialogue editor, Peter Neubauer. Sound effect editor, Peter Hilchanski. Foley artist, Radovan Eckert. Lead sound designer, Tomasz Oramus. Optimization for the visually impaired, Michal Jelinek. Licensed songs, only physically by Saka. Goodbye to me, traveler by Places. Monsters, Inc. by Outsiders. Illustrations. Michal Kotsourek and Petr Drahosh. Marketing and Promotion. Petr Polacek. PR by PR Outreach. Making of video by Ineshka Kruzikova. Teaser by Krutart Animation Studio. We would like to thank all our friends who supported us throughout the development.
Play by Ears in partnership with SoundSquare Studio. Thank you for playing. Please rate our game by swiping to the right. To rate the game please turn on talkback or voiceover. By swiping down you can follow us on Facebook. By swiping to the left you will return to the main menu. To repeat the help swipe up with two main menu.